TIFU by making it awkward with my male best friend. My best friend is going through rough times. As he has lost his job and his dad is terminally ill. He went through all this like a soldier and never ever complained to me. Until Wednesday evening. We were at my place Netflixing and hanging around. And suddenly he cracked and started crying etc. I held him and told him to let it out etc. Then I started crying too. It wasn't pretty. Anyway we eventually calmed down and stayed for a while on the couch just kinda holding each other. And well I noticed that a certain area of his had awakened. I told him that if he wanted there was more I could do to cheer him up. And he chuckled. After like five minutes he said it was better if he went home. And the day after he went kinda radio silent only sending me a couple of texts on telegram which is very strange because we're usually good around all day sending memes and stuff. Now, I meant what I said and it really was out of love because I wanted him to be happy with all my heart. I had FWB before not him so I would not have felt weird by doing stuff with him. We have known each other since forever. Now, I didn't take him for a guy who could be weirded out by something like this. Even if to be honest he never ever tried anything with me in all these years. Not even half jokingly. I am afraid I hurt him but what do I do? Do I wait and pretend this never happened or do I confront him? TLDR I kinda offered my best friend sex in order to cheer him up and now he is ghosting me. Edit thank you for the replies. This was actually last week. I posted this elsewhere but was ignored. Since then we had another Netflix and chill eve at my place and he was stiff like was waiting for. The dentist. I did not bring up the matter. Two days ago I told him I wanted to hang out and about any ideas he had. And he asked me to G-tag along with his buddies to watch Indiana Jones at the theater. He behaved normally but usually when I ask him to hang out it's just me and him playing video games. Or doing stuff. So yeah. I made it awkward. He'll probably need some time to process that lol. I think you just hit him with a massive curveball. Be careful. He might think you like him now. Also it is worth noting that the presence of his involuntary physiological response does not mean that he wants to have sex with you. I'd address it very straightforwardly. But not make a big deal out of it. The emotional breakdown was likely a result of having more than he could handle. And then the idea of becoming physical with someone he's likely depending on as an anchor is a lot. Complicates an already tough situation. Hey friend. I spoke emotionally without thinking the other day. I don't want to complicate your life. I got caught up in the moment. Ultimately. I want you to be happy. And to be there for you. I don't know if my words caused you discomfort. But if they did. I am sorry. That's a pretty weird thing to say. Boner or not. It really wasn't an appropriate time to bring it up. You might want to clarify how you feel with him. Issue is. If you do want to sleep with him then it kind of looks like you were trying to pounce when he was. Vulnerable. If not. Then you're gonna have to be pretty delicate about how you walk it back. I'm a woman so my perspective might be different. But if this was me I'd be so turned off. Despite physiological response. He did not make any other move to turn things sexual. You should have left that ball in his court instead of trying to initiate anything. If a male friend did this to a female friend I think the answers to this post would be a lot. Different. I don't think your suggestion was appropriate at all towards someone who never expressed interest in. That way towards you.
especially after being so vulnerable with you. Well you did breach his trust in a vulnerable position. If you were male and he was female we'd be calling you a creep so it's no different. Also male erections happen with almost all close contact with a female. So yeah stop being a pervert and be a friend. Honestly OP that's creepy as fuck of you to have said. I would feel almost betrayed if a good friend used my time of grief and stress to try and make a move. I realize this wasn't your exact intention but this was a violation and I think you should apologize. That's pretty gross and makes you seem like a creep. Also your other comments saying you didn't want to sleep with him even though you offered to sleep with him and where you admit you've thought of him in that way further cements it. You said he didn't ever make a move or give an indication that he wanted to have sex in the years. You've known him. And now in a vulnerable position where someone has died you tried to make a move. Now he's ghosted you. Read the room. He isn't interested and was put off by your super creepy behavior. What comments section? What you did was inappropriate. Doesn't matter what his physiology was doing. His dad is dying and he lost his job. Maybe instead focus on learning how to offer emotional support. I just can't get over what an absurd online niche Reddit is. 9 out of 10 people in the real world would condemn this kind of behavior. And everyone would condemn it if it was a boy trying to comfort his female friend in that way. He could also just not be attracted to you. Doesn't look like you calculated that possibility in your post. You may have experience with FWs. But maybe he doesn't. The last thing he probably wanted is to catch feelings while he's going through a rough time. A lot of things to juggle. Yeah no. Touch and closeness can do weird things to the little solider. When hugging my SO after her father died. I got hard involuntary. Thankfully she never noticed. But yeah. Dicks are weird. You do know that Netflix and chill actually means to have sex, right? Honestly it sounds like he was really not down and weirded out. I'm sure he's wondering right now if you actually liked him or not. And that will be crucial for seeing if the friendship can be restored since he really didn't seem to want to take things that way. At the end of the day it can be seen as just a super awkward joke. But it can also be seen as trying to take advantage of him in a vulnerable moment. In high school my body betrayed me by having an erection as I comforted a female friend. Pretty much torpedoed our friendship. I found out later she had been sexually abused prior to that. Would consider this a case of emotional whiplash he went from one extreme of actually opening up. And crying thus vulnerable back to calm then straight into confusion. Likely confused the hell out of him especially if nothing physical has happened previously. It doesn't take much to get hard so just the hug could have been enough it doesn't expressly mean he. Was thinking of sex obviously you were. Not even half jokingly. Yeah men are oblivious or we just think it is a joke this the confusion inducing part. Fun fact it's more meaningful just to be there as emotional support. Dudes don't generally let emotions out. So to do so in front of someone means it's either an accident or a LOT of trust. If you want to be. Make sure he knows you are there for non-judgmental emotional support. Also boners run on their own brain. You'd be surprised what can make a hard on. Whoa when a female approached a male with this everyone goes he need time and this that. If it was a male saying that to his female friend the world will be upside down and comment section. Will be how he is an asshole and leave his friendship. A man can't take this as offensive.